Good morning, you two. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. Finally, all shed out is Evoltra the Volta's Clutch. She was bred by Onyx, who is a GHI and she yellow belly. And uh, what a nice dark clutch we've got here. We've got a very curious little uh, yellow belly right here. Maybe an Enchi yellow belly. Just looking around at stuff. Got a bunch of GHI stuff in here. It's going to be hard for me to uh, uh, ID these. It's going to be hard for me to do this one-handed, but let's just give it a try. Got a nice GHI right here. Um, let's see here. Trying to focus. There we go. So, uh, it's not the darkest one in the clutch. And I honestly don't know what that means. Like, I'm going to try and pick up a different one. With my hand here. Excuse me, guys. Yeah. Look at these two next to each other. So, the one on the right is the one I picked up first. The one on the left, first off, doesn't seem to have that banding across the back. It's also darker. Um, and then, I'm trying to decide what I think here. I think this one has Enchi. This one does not. That's what I'm going to say. The one on the left, no Enchi. The one on the right has Enchi. I also actually think the one on the right is a yellow belly. It's got a little bit more blushing and a little more checkered side pattern. I think this on my thumb is just a straight up, uh, sorry, GHI. And the other one is the all gene animal. Now, aside from GHI, Enchi, and Yellow Belly, we also have all of these are 50% Volta. Volta refers to, to my knowledge, the only locality ball python in existence. Um, most ball pythons that are imports, uh, which means you know current imports and then the ancestors, if you will, of all of the captive bred ones, come from just a couple of countries in West Africa. Um, Togo, uh, Benin, Ghana, uh, those are the ones I know of that import, that export a lot of ball pythons. And... Uh, that does not mean, though, that those are the countries that ball pythons exclusively come from. They actually are in a lot of places in, in Africa. So the Volta mountain range and the whole Volta region is known for having, for whatever reason, exceptionally, and I mean exceptionally large, ball pythons. Um, so when those are imported into the U.S. or Europe or, or anywhere... They are coveted, even though it's a normal, you know, there's not a, a Mendelian morph going on, just some combination of genetics over time in that region selected for very, very, very large ball pythons. And I'm talking large, like 7,000 gram ball pythons or larger have been measured out of there. So uh, these are all half Volta blood, if you will. Uh, which means that hopefully uh, they should end up larger than a typical ball python. So that's cool. So they got some morphs. You know, the GHI, Enchi, and Yellow Belly are all just traditional ball python Mendelian morphs. Those all happen to be uh, incomplete dominant. But uh, they also have some Volta blood swimming around in there, roughly 50% since their mom is a full Volta. Look at the heads on these two, by the way. I'm just noticing this. See how light colored that one is and how dark that one is. Um, now, this one, yep, they're both. Well, I got to check on that first before I say anything further. Make sure that is a GHI down there. <laughs> but uh, there's differences in here. They're subtle. It kind of looks just like a squirrely pile of snakes here. But uh, it's going to be tough for me. It's going to be some some time commitment to figure out the IDs on these but like to me that is a, a traditional the one I'm looking at here right here 
that is a just a GHI, just a sweet looking classic GHI. Um, I would hazard a guess that this one is not. It's quite a bit different. Look at look at them next to each other. Look how much brighter this one is. Look at the banding. Look at the blushing up the side. Um, this this could be a, a yellow belly GHI, I would guess. Um, so, anyways, I'll. Uh, I'll close it here. I'll get them all in their individual boxes. Start feeding them. Uh, these will all be available, or I might I might hold back one, but uh, most of these will be available. Let me know if you're interested. I have I have often gotten interest in in Volta baby ball pythons, so I'm gonna have to contact a few people on my waiting list before I make them available to the public. But uh, other than that, they will be available as soon as they are eating well. They have now all shed. Uh, I need them to eat, you know, at least four times, if not five consecutively before I'm comfortable letting them go so you know they won't be instantaneously available and if they you know say they eat three times in a row and then they hesitate on one I start my count over uh, I really 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 want them to be eating uh, no hesitation whenever they go to a new home um, and then I also like to see a good healthy bowel movement so that's kind of my checklist uh, if any of you have ever been curious about that, you know, people ask me sometimes uh, when they're here on a tour, like, how old do the baby ball pythons have to be? It's not so much about age. You know, these are a uh, a precocial species uh, as opposed to an artricial species. So these guys, as soon as they are hatched, theoretically, they are they are good to go. They can take care of themselves. The mom no longer has to guard them because they're out of the egg, and they just go off and do their thing. They know how to capture food, they know how to find water, they know how to find shelter and all that stuff. But, because this is captivity, we can do things better than nature, right? In some things. We can eliminate predators, we can offer medical care, <laughs> you know? Uh, we can air condition their environment and uh, their humidity and just everything, right? So, uh, I like to see that the shed worked perfectly you know that first shed where they they get rid of their egg skin four meals consecutively with no hesitation and a healthy bowel movement now if that takes a ball python three or four weeks awesome he's ready to go if that takes him three or four months that's fine that's how long it's going to take uh, i have had some frustrated customers before <laughs> because there's a specific snake they want and I'm not willing to let it go yet. You know, sometimes I'll put a snake on hold for somebody if they if they give me a deposit. But I don't generally let them leave my place until they have fulfilled my checklist. And I'm confident in their ability to thrive in a captive setting. Oh, just look at that guy. So pretty. Love it. Another one that I think is a GHI yellow belly. Anyway... Enough yammering. Hope you enjoyed looking at a beautiful basket of snakes. And uh, we have a bunch of good videos coming up. And hopefully you enjoy them. Please let me know if there's ever any topics you want to hear. I know we've had a request for feeding videos, uh, lizard updates, and a full reptile barn tour. All those things are in the works. I, I am sorry it takes me so long to do this, guys. You know, with... Liz working full time, I'm doing this full time, got the kids full time, uh, we get the vlogs out as fast as we can, but I am working on your request, so don't, don't think I've forgotten you. Anyways, that is all for now, thank you so much for watching, until next time, we are the Reptile Barn.